Recently, the famous singer-songwriter Tom Lehrer died. I was really quite sad because, as probably many of you know, he wrote the most famous song about the periodic table. He didn't write the music, but he managed somehow to produce a really good lyric consisting of the names of the different elements. There have been lots of cover versions. The Harry Potter actor Daniel Radcliffe sung it on TV and has had millions of views. The song has been everywhere. Even we did a cover version in the days before auto-tune, so it's a bit strange. And anyway, I can't sing. Holmium. Helium. Hafnium. Erbium. Phosphorus. Francium. Fluorine. Terbium. I've always been a huge admirer of Tom Lehrer. And I was given, in the early 1990s, a book of his songs. I can't play music, but I can read the words. And in the book, there is the music and words of the element song. In early 1992, I thought it'd be fun to hang up a photocopy of the words of the song in the corridor so our students, when they were going to and fro, could read the words and perhaps some of them sing it. So I wrote to the publishers of this book and not very long afterwards, I got a letter back from Tom Lehrer himself. And he wrote, Prof. Martin Polyakov, Department of Chemistry, University of Nottingham. Dear Professor Polyakov, your letter of 20th March has been forwarded to me by the Methuen, the publisher, as I control the copyright of the song, The Elements. You certainly have my permission to use the song in the manner described in your letter. And I'm delighted to hear that you think it might actually do some good. Yours sincerely, Tom Lehrer. And it's hung in the corridor ever since. Professor, do you remember the first time you heard the song? I'm not sure the first time I heard the Element song. The first time I heard Tom Lehrer's songs was when I was about 11 years old and some young man with a guitar came to our boarding school and sang the songs. Now when I hear the lyrics, I think the teachers didn't understand quite how anarchic and possibly rude the lyrics actually were. But I really like them and I have been a huge fan ever since. I have used the element song quite a lot. I've used to introduce my first year undergraduate lectures with a mixture of music from Star Wars and then the periodic table song. I still listen to it quite regularly. I've even been on national radio talking about it as some great piece of music. It's really sad that there hasn't been anybody in my lifetime that I've known who could write such clever lyrics in terms of the rhyming and also with a really strong satire and a powerful message. So there was an obituary in the Times, the London Times, which I liked particularly the last sentence, which said, in 2020, he put his songs in the public domain. He said, if after hearing my songs, just one human being is inspired to say something nasty to a friend, or perhaps to strike a loved one, it will all have been worthwhile. Professor, is it true that a Tom Lira song was played at your wedding? When I was getting dressed for the wedding, I played a whole Tom Lehrer record, including his famous love song, I Hold Your Hand in Mine, in which he describes 
holding the hand that he has cut off from his girlfriend. The night I d you died, I cut it off. I really don't know why. Each time I kiss it, I get blood stains on my tie, and so on. But still I keep your hand as a precious souvenir. I have really played his records for most of my life. And the day after his death, I was driving around playing CDs of his songs in our car. Our car's so old it still has a CD player. I very much hope that his song on the elements will live on. I particularly like a Japanese version of his song. If you've never heard it, now is the time to go and listen to it. There's earth and air and fire and water. Palladium, Palladium, Potassium, Melonium, Tantalum, Technesium, Titanium, Tellurium, Cadmium, Calcium, Chromium, Curium, Sulfur, Californium, Fermium, Berkelium.